want you to live in fear indifferent to the pain they cause that's the energy that i have for this reading if you're resonating with that like share subscribe comment let me know in the comment section if this is something you're resonating with um that's what we're going to get into you can also book a personal reading you can join my members only if that's something you're interested in but yeah that's the energy that i have that they want you to live in fear they're indifferent to the pain they cause and this is something that you've been dealing with constantly Okay, but we're going to nip that in the bud right now. Okay, no more. Enough is enough. Upon one day in all the provinces of King Ahasuerus, namely upon the 13th day of the 12th month, which is the month Adar. I don't know why that stood out to me, but someone's birthday could be on the, on the 13th day. Someone's birthday could be December 13th. Okay, and then I have, oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad in our days. I feel like we're coming to a point where you can find joy in everything. You can smile in every situation. And this is a gift. God is giving you this gift right now, the gift of light. You can smile. In every, um, you're definitely not living in fear. But they shall, they shall sit every man under his vine and under his fig tree, and none shall make them afraid. For the mouth of the Lord of hosts hath spoken it. That's coming up again. Someone trying to make you live in fear, but you're not afraid. You can smile through any situation, and they're indifferent to, to the pain that they cause. Well, they're not causing any pain. It might have been pain in the, in the past. But you have been through enough to know that this is not painful. This is fun. Yeah. I feel like you made it. You made it out of the darkness. It says, nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thy ears and in the ears of all the people. So God is telling you something. Your ears are being open right now. If you can hear it, anybody with ears that can hear is going to hear. Anybody with eyes that can see is going to see. Okay, whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. You definitely stuck to your guns. You stay faithful to God and God is blessing you. You don't have to go run and looking for a Bible and brush the dust off and pretend that you've been to church or that you care about Jesus because you've been doing it day by day. So anybody who was trying to follow you and it's like, oh, now we got to be Christian. Like it's too late for them. It's way too late for them. You you stuck by Jesus' side day in and day out. You went to hell with him. You rose up with him. Okay, so this is a new life for you. And there's so much to be proud of. But I don't know if that's a feeling you're allowed to feel. But I do feel like there's some pride here. Somebody could be graduating. I definitely feel like you've been through enough. And you can speak about your situation. You can tell your truth to anybody with ears. It's a lot of people that's going to understand what you've been through. And this is a spiritual journey. Not everybody is welcome here. First of all, most people are not welcome here because they're not willing to go through what you've just been through. You have three of candles. You could have saw this from the very beginning. Like, okay, this is about to be a journey. It's just like how they say the fool when he's on the cliff. Like he doesn't see what's coming. Most people are thinking about him dropping down to his death. But he's looking at the... He's looking at the sky. He's looking at his vision. That's what I feel is going on right now. Your visions are coming true. Everything that you saw when other people were like, oh, it's over with. It's done. She's done. He's done. It's over. He lost. You already saw yourself. You already saw yourself holding a trophy. You saw, you saw yourself receiving a gold medal. You saw yourself being crowned. Okay. Then you have four of grains in reverse. Yeah, but I'm kind of seeing this as it being in the upright. Like, okay, so with four of grains in reverse, it's like you had a situation where you could have been frugal. You could have saved all your money and paid all your bills like they wanted you to do, but you didn't. You invested in your business and you grew your business. Instead, you focused on yourself because a lot of people have issues with that. You focus it on yourself, but you don't have a problem with loving yourself. I can see that very clearly. 
and it's showing up even more because the fact that you invest in yourself means that you're not left without. If you would have done what everybody else is telling you to do, you would be in the same boat as them. It's just more bills to pay and they're miserable. They hate their lives, they hate themselves, and they hate each other. And now you see firsthand, you got a first, first row seat at their misery. Somebody wanted this. Somebody manifested this. Like, I'm willing to go to hell just to watch these people suffer. And now you get to see it very clearly. You have Ace of Candles here. So this is someone, Jesus is coming to you and offering you water that will never, once you drink his water, you'll never be thirsty again. And if you know what the slang term for thirsty is, it's like people who are constantly craving for your attention. They're literally dehydrated. I'm also thirsty right now. Do you have the moon in reverse? The moon in reverse is like, is an illusion. It's a hallucination. They're delusional. They think everything is about them. They think they're part of the club, but they're not. Okay. They're definitely being left out and left behind. And it's kind of funny, but it's mostly sad. But I feel like, like you don't need us in depression. They're definitely depressed. They're trying to follow you out of your dark, out of this dark place. I'm about to call it your darkness, but it's definitely their darkness. You went through their darkness, and they're gonna stay exactly where where you found them. Nothing is changing for them, and they desperately want it to change at this point. But I feel like they still reject God. God is always available. Look at that, the Empress. This is the card on the box. Pretty, pretty card. This is Mary. I feel like you've always offered God to these people or this person, this entity, whatever this is that was trying to hold back. It could even be a state of mind. You could have been depressed for a while, but you're not anymore. I'm not seeing any type of depression coming from this energy. Whoever wanted you to live in fear, they are living in fear. They were inviting you to their cookout. They were inviting you to their pity party. Cookout, barbecue, whatever. And you said, no, thank you. I'm good. I don't need to be on that dark, low level with you. They're so low vibrational, okay? But you made it through. Then you have the father of nations. I will make you a great nation and I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing to others. I just added that others in there. This is Genesis 12 too. You are being a blessing to the people who support you. People who were watching you, giving you attention and hoping that you will make it out. All right. You made it through. And then we have, is this the last supper? Yeah. So you chose to sit with Christ instead of these miserable people you chose to support christ instead of attending their pity party take a take a take and eat jesus said this is my body drink this is all of you drink this all of you for this is my blood that's the communion he said to be poured out for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory in memory of me. So I feel like there's a message here to forgive them instantly. Just drop it. Everything they did to you. As soon as I close this energy, I might as well throw these decks away because I'm so sick of this negativity. Drop it. Forgive it. Forgive it completely. Don't hold on to any of this grudge. If you see them act in the same way, just know it's because they never learn same thing over and over day in and day out but you don't need to read into it anymore come into me all you that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest jesus is giving you rest right now lean on his shoulder they don't see jesus they don't know what you're leaning on he's in your heart they all they see is a strong ass person that they want to tear down let them try they're only ruining and scuffing up their their knuckles banging into doors punching on walls punching themselves punching each other but they're not touching you okay because you're protected then you have nine of cups yeah this is the pride I, did i mention this here nine of cups is usually someone being proud of themselves this is it right here i'm so proud of you you made it through is this harry tubman this is saint josephine bakita but i'm i'm feeling that vibe that harry and Tub, harriet tubman vibe 
Harriet Tubman kept going back to save other people. I'm not picking that up from this energy. I feel like once you're out, you're gone. You don't come back for nobody. But Harriet Tubman was a beautiful woman. So face your financial fears. And this is about you living in fear. We did talk about financial fears. Like they wanted you to pay all these bills. They kept throwing bills your way. Stuff you don't even use. And you ignored them. You kept investing in yourself. And that's exactly what you should have done. Because now it's paying off. When you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be, f be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness. And you'll realize that you, in fact, have nothing to fear. And that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts. You're, you're going to have to spend some time getting comfortable, being okay. Knowing that you did everything your way, you broke all of their rules and you're okay. In fact, you're better because of it. And this is how you reach your success by breaking all of their rules, focusing on yourself. They don't want you to promote yourself. They don't want you to mind your business. They don't want you to care about yourself. They don't want you to love yourself. And you did that anyway. And that's why you reached the success. You didn't do it because of them. And they're going to try and take credit for it. But it, it wasn't because of them. It was in spite of them. We have the, an angel appearing to you saying, I was here. I'm actually resonating with that. An angel saying that he was here. I don't really, you don't really need to see this. And you're standing on holy ground right now. Wow, this is really powerful. Let's just close this energy up. Somebody wanting you to live in fear obviously doesn't work. I feel like you being even more fearless because of this. You might not you might not have even known what fear was until they kept pointing at it. Like, that's it. That's what I want. Give me some more of that. And you're like, uh, no thanks. I'm good on that. That wasn't even part of your life to begin with. You have the emperor here. I feel like you're a very strong person. Very uh, authoritative. And you sit on your throne. You could have also been in the military, the Marines. That just looks like a Marine's uniform, but I know it's not. You could be in a, the Navy. You could be in the Air Force. You could have served in some way. You went through whatever it is that you set out to go through, and you made it out on the other end. That's what I feel like is the celebration here. You have two of swords. Somebody is so confused. How did you make it out alive? They didn't want you to. They didn't want you to survive. But I feel like that I'm definitely seeing somebody with these medals here. That's what's standing out to me. The medals on this guy's uniform, like medals of honor. You're a very honorable person and you deserve the respect that you're receiving right now. It's coming towards you if it's not coming from these people who are very soon about to drop on their knees and admit their wrongdoings and apologize. They are so sorry for what they did. You have daydreaming here. Let me clarify this daydream because I feel like now you're really focused on the next level. What's, what's happening now? Because this is an adventure that you went on that nobody trusted or believed that you would make it throughout. They didn't believe you would survive. You survived and now it's like, okay, what now? You could be working on your beauty. Or maybe it's like, because this is in reverse. You have beauty in reverse. This could be something like, it's not the outside, but the inside that you're working on. Something that's very shocking. That the inside is the outside and you're the same. You're just one person. It's not a mask. That's what they're shocked about. Any more for this energy? I feel like I'm going to close it there. If that resonated with you, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know in the comment section if this is something you resonate with. Uh, you can join my members only. You can book a personal reading. But yeah, definitely let me know. Whoever this was trying to get you to live in fear. Just how how wrong they were about that how how much of a failure are they trying to get you to live in fear because i feel like there's zero fear here and the fear was almost like is an insecurity is a confusion almost like dementia like you lose your thoughts you lose your place in line and 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 uh your spiritual blessings and your inheritance 
it's all sorts of things. It's not it's not just what people think as being fear. It's like ultimate incompetence. And you are you are very competent. You are very confident. A beautiful person, a beer, a beautiful spirit. I'm just seeing it all over this. Okay. But yeah, that's the energy. Let me know how that resonated, and I'll see you in the next one.